up airs. We've seen a ton from uh, the uh, the friendo Luis up against SHK SHK. Looking forward to a uh, little slobber knocker here as we have a. Uh, MC David joining me on the mic. What's up, MC David? Can't make you commentate uh, Loser's Finals by yourself. Ah, thanks, man. Appreciate Very it. Very excited. It's been, uh, I don't know if Luis has won a Xanadu before. I don't think so. It's That's definitely a possibility tonight. Oh, it's... big trade. Nice trade there, yeah. We're getting a uh, 2016 and 2019 classic here <laughs> between Puff and A Fox. Yes, you know? 100%. Uh, although no headband involved this time. But. Yeah, it's, fu it's funny, uh, like, looking at this matchup, like, now, where it's, like, Cody kind of just demolishes Hungrybox, oh, yeah. and it's just kind of like, it used to be, like, Hungrybox was the king, mm -hmm. and everyone, it would just be, like, the Fox Challengers, like, everyone else with the Fox. Ooh, and now it's beautiful just, like, conversion. <laughs> and now it's more like Jigglypuff's have fallen off a little bit. It, was, it used to be, oh, Jigglypuff might be best character in the game, and now yeah. it's, like, Jigglypuff might be sixth. <laughs> so I have a grand theory about this. So back in the yep. days where Hungrybox was on top, every yep. top player was always complaining about, oh, I hate having to play Jigglypuff. It's so frustrating. So, And his play style yep. was actually built around intentionally taking advantage of people getting frustrated. Like, you get in their heads and, the, you know, all of his little mind games with, like, standing up and, like, pop-offs yeah. and stuff. What makes Cody scary is not just that he's good at fighting Jigglypuff, he's the first Fox who thinks it's fun. Yeah. Like, his comfort matchup <laughs> is Fox Puff. He would do games with Two Saint, Fox Puff, for like six hour sessions, just like, all right, we're done with classes. Let's just play Fox Puff until we go to sleep. True. And you can't frustrate a man like that. He's in his zone. True. <laughs> That's actually low key the secret to the Puff matchup, yeah. is just enjoying it. Like, I have fun with the Puff matchup, and I think it's my best matchup. Yeah, I, I honestly like, agree too, and it's supposed to be really bad for Peach, but like, yeah. unless I'm playing some, you know, frickin' hungry box, like, no, yeah. I feel like I'm in it, I'm interacting. Yeah. Uh, like, as we've been jabbering on, this is coming down to the wire. Yes. It's already uh, one stock to one. And, mm -hmm. and it's, it, you know, 50, 66%. Yeah. This is already either person could lose in one interaction. Yep. Oh! Yeah, gets pushed off Sage. It, it almost feels like a repeat of that last set with Trie, where it's just like Luis just getting pushed off stage, not finding the kill, and uh, just not getting the right recoveries. Although, you know, uh, hard to recover from there. You yeah, don't have any options. Oh, gets F smash right away. We're going to game two on Pokemon Stadium. Uh, Luis Ben, uh, big fan. Oh, wait, it's still all right, still all right, still all right. It's still good. It's still good. All right. <laughs> I like the aggressiveness too. Being like, hey, could get something off that good uh, tech, but nonetheless, gonna die for it anyway. SHK up four stocks to three. All right, only gets. Oh, I was about to say only gets one laser with invincibility, but in fact was just sharking, waiting for Puff to land, and then cleaned it up with that up smash. True. Doing the. Uh, I, I feel like that's another Cody innovation. It's just like the one. It's like one laser is okay. You know what I mean? It's a little mix-up. You know? Yeah, it's 2% less damage for, like, 100% less vulnerability. Like, yes. it, it just makes sense. True. Good shine. There. In the corner. Oh. Good trade there for Luis. Doesn't get the up air because of SHK. Having good drift there. Was looking for the up smash. Kind of gets stuck in his movement a little bit, but does get the back air, does Luis. A little bit extra damage there. Yes, oh, gets wow. the fall down up air, and that is going to do it. So three stocks to two right now. Good shine. He's looking much more comfortable here on Stadium. Yes. This, this is Fox's home. Home base. Now, oh. interesting thing I'm noticing is that Louise, I don't think she's gotten a grab yet. Nope. Uh, j just, fi uh, not fishing, that's the wrong word. Uh, just, uh, <laughs> and, uh, applying pressure yes. with aerials. But does get the grab there, getting the up throw into the up air. So now up three stocks to one. Gets the shine there too. Another, uh, and just playing aggressive. Wow. I actually like this. I like this play right now from Luis. That was incredible because it is so dangerous. If you're not confident in your tech skill, like one missed L cancel is up throw rest. True. Yeah, sometimes it actually is pretty important to just pressure puff when you're the better character and you can challenge Sheik up in the air. Like, I, I wouldn't recommend it if I was like, let's say, uh, Sheik <laughs> or like Peach to just kind of like wail on Jigglypuff, but someone like Falcon or, oh, that trade. Yeah, Luis is playing confident. It's all hell right now. I mean, it's always important to think about risk versus reward. Yes. It's like, if, if 
sure, if I mess this up, I could die. But if I get it right, then they also die. So yes. that might, you know, be, looking at percentages, looking at stock counts, it might still be worth it. True. Oh, but Luis does get pushed off the stage there. Both players not knowing that that's a good Luis saw an invisible top plat for a second, uh, and then it was taken away from her. True. <laughs> Luis like, can you transform now? <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, please transform now. Luis living three minutes in the future. No, honey. We can't do any transformations. We have transformations at home. All right, got we got water coming up. Yeah. So we're getting a, a, a makeshift top flat. <laughs> yes. Or a side flat in the middle of the stage. Yeah. Cool plat. Oh, oh we had saved her life there. That yes. windmill had not been there. That was death. Now, we're at the point where one strong back air is death for Jump Puff, right? Oh, could have just gotten it there with the jab back air. Not quite strong enough to win with a soft aerial, though. Yeah. Probably needs 20 oh. more for that. The stage kind of messing Luis up there, low key. But does get the back air off that shield drop and is going to take game two. <laughs> Looks very confident. That was not shaken by game one at all. True, true. So this, uh, uh, what you want to see. Yes. But we're going to the Jigglypuff Classic here. Mm -hmm. Please refrain from your claps. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't a major. This is a small tie, boy. This is controversial this is opinion. Game. I think I actually like the Dreamlink claps. Yeah. So long as it only goes for the first like stanza. True. Like it's like six claps and then you're done. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think it's the first, it's however long you go the first time, and then you can't do it again. Yeah, that's also true. Yeah. You don't want to see it. Oh, wow, a miscalculation by Chick Chick. Yes. Does that sound right to you? All right. I just call him SHK, SHK. That is so many letters. I'm calling him Chick Chick. Chick Chick. <laughs> or Shake Shack. Shake Shack. Yeah, yeah. Shake Shack. I like that better. So Shake I'm going to tell them afterwards to change their tag to that, so I'm right retroactively. <laughs> yeah. I'll call him Shake Shack. Maybe it's like uh, the sound of a shotgun. Oh, yeah, that actually makes sense. Yeah. And then the, uh, the rest is the boom. Mm -hmm. We'll see if we get any booms here. As Fox at 0% is prime for rest. Oh. As funny as that sounds. Oh, that's fine. Fox, you're chilling there. Gotta get a bit more space to up the rest DI. He's doing a great job of commanding the center. True. Like, I feel like Shik Shik has been on the defense. Even though the percentages are relatively close, well, now there is a stock difference. Uh, she has been commanding the tempo of the game, which is so important in this matchup in particular, where both people die in two hits. Ooh, speaking of. Luis Stein and one right there has to adjust the glasses. Nonetheless, keeping up right now. Neck and neck here. Is the set. Oh, the up throw. That was a good shine there defensively, but yeah, Jigglypuff not able to get the tech chase. Imagine how broken Puff would be if he <laughs> just get to that tech chase and just rest. But uh, thankfully, we do not live in that world. And instead, live in a world where. Oh, wow, fun. she went for the, the, uh, the jab up smash, but uh, Shik Shik was ready with a crouch. True. I like that the, they're going for these, uh, uh, the call. sing by the ledge. It's like, do not crowd, cr yeah, don't yeah. crowd me or I will kill you for it. I mean, that Fox would have to anticipate that they're going to do it. You can't punish that on reaction. True. Now, there is a limit to those. You can't uh, stall with those too many times. I think it's like only like two or three, right? Or what, what's the limit with those uppies? I think most things that, that have a limit, it's three. Just because it's a number that sounds good. True. So if you had three seconds, you could do that to stall. <laughs> Actually, don't, does it do percent? No, it does not. Speaking of doing percents, how about wow. doing stocks and games here? Luis up two games to one now with that up smash right there. One game away from rematch at Trier in the Grand Finals. I know Luis wants that one back. Wait, speaking of which, why aren't you here? Why, why aren't I in uh, winners? Yeah, wait a minute, what the heck? <laughs> oh, I went Falcon today. So I went 2-2 two -two with Falcon, which is Sick. what I was hoping for. Nice. Very proud of that. That's better than I've ever done with Falcon. <laughs> so you, you're going to need to teach me. Yes. 
I had an incredibly lucky set against Johnny, where I, I just happened to read his double lasers from ledge with me like six times. That was enough for the set. Nice. Um, and then I had an incredibly silly set with Convex, where he went Kirby and Donkey Kong. <laughs> nice. And then a few sets I lost that need not go, uh, <laughs> need not be discussed. Wait, was Dip one of them? Oh yeah, Dip beat me really bad. <laughs> that, of course, that's the one that got yeah. streamed. Dip is, uh, Dip has gotten really good at that matchup oh, yeah. lately. It just destroys me. I mean, yeah, like I, mean I know that's why Bunko goes uh, Sheik in that matchup. True. He's our strongest Falcon by a lot. Yeah. I might go Marth against them, honestly. Like, he's gotten so good at that matchup so fast. Probably good at that too. Dip, Dip, one of those players who's like just recently like gotten on that crest of like now really good. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. I mean that's from going to locals every week, man. You get a little bit better every week. Yes. And then you know before you know it, it shows tangible results. Like Bry guy had his best results ever today. Did yeah. You see that? I, I was shocked when he was in. Yeah. <laughs> he was in losers semis. I'm like, yeah, Bry guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, the pe the meme of like those two soldiers and then Peter Griffin. <laughs> the constant, you're like, what? <laughs> yeah, he uh, he beat Bunko and he beat Luigi Mojo and he beat my Falcon. So yeah, incredible run. Nice. Speaking of incredible runs, though, uh, Louise now one stock away from her earning her spot in uh, Grand Finals. Yes. Just playing a conservative, you know, and the lead. I should say, I keep speaking from Louise's perspective, because of course she's the regular that yes. I know very well. Shik Shik also incredible placing yes. for their first Xanadu. Uh, third minimum, verging on second, if they can pull this back. Yeah. Uh, hope to see them around more often in the future. Yeah. Well, actually, I, th I feel like I've seen Shik Shik's before. Really? Yeah. Okay. I, th I feel like I feel like it's one of those players that comes like every so often. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yes. I I'm gonna have to search that out real quick, but I can't. I can't. I can't. Here's they are sponsored the by time. AM, so they are a morning person. Yeah. Maybe they can't stay up this late. Yeah, the <laughs> clock might be striking midnight on this run. It's just good. if Luis can just get one more up smash here. Luis is playing this last interaction very conservatively. Getting and that does air, it! Getting the kill and getting the set. Luis taking it back to grand finals, baby. That was so smart when she was like. I only need one more interaction to win, and I'm going to choose where that is. I'm not going to just throw myself at you and give you the chance to come back, because why would I? No reason to. Yeah. Especially at a stage like Dreamland, that's the one disadvantage Puff has is mm -hmm. Fox is the lead. He can just laser cam. Just oh, yeah, 100%. It's, it's too big a stage to be like, okay, mm -hmm. I have you cornered. No, there's so much space. You know? Yeah. It's infinite. It feels like, feels, feels like uh, for Jigglypuff, you have to have that lead. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, the laser... Obviously, it is your impetus to approach early in the matchup, but it, it's an interesting balance because I feel like once after Puff is after, let's be generous, let's say 140, no more damage matters. True. You've already reached the point where all of Fox's openers kill you. So it's like at that point, you're just like, shoot me whatever you want, man. <laughs> yeah, I, will, I will wait for you to open yourself up because you get greedy with your gun. True. But speaking of, uh, of greedy here, Luis, trying to play a less, like, Greedy set, more conservative here against Trier. All right, well, uh, so talk to me about the first set. Yeah. Do you know where the